Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kwadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly and ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. I also want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers out there. Okay, here with the uh, the plot or, or the agenda, all right, of our enemy, our, uh, with, with his biblical, his true biblical identity being the, the Edomites, all right, Esau, Edom, okay, the so-called white nation, all right. And, and truly our enemy as in for, for our enemy, um, Truly, for concerning our people, uh, that make up the twelve tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and hey, we we have an enemy. All right, these these are t these are just more proof of, and more evil plots that that is uh conspired against. You know, of course, you can say world population, but it's truly targeted to you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, but this is um a theory. Okay, from Thomas Robert uh, Malthus. All right, this hey, this, tr this truth is ever learning. This is something new that uh, that was shared. Okay, and I and it's just another. It just it just shows more weakness and evil that is as that is targeted towards our people. Okay, but our people, but this is but our people fail to realize that we have an enemy. Fail to realize these types of traps that are out there. Okay, and it just has them spiritually uh sleep. All right, but this is Malthusianism. It says it is a theory that the population growth is potentially exponentially according exponential according to the Malthusian growth model, while the growth of the food supply or other resources is linear, which eventually reduces living standards to the point of triggering a population decline. OK, it says it occurs when population growth outspaces agricultural production, causing famine or war initially right before. Right before the crisis, yeah, right before the crisis, poverty and equality will increase as the price of assets and scarce commodities go up due to fierce competition for these dwindling resources. And that's what, and that's this is the this is the type of system that the so-called white man pushes. That is not enough space. There's not. It's planet man. This this earth. This earth that the Lord has created, this is the, still the Lord's creation. He has things, you know, happen, uh, you know, take place naturally. But the so-called white man looks to modify every damn thing, genetically modify everything, and change things up, okay? Because the Lord told it, after he created it, he said it is good. It's good to go. And this is the creator of the universe, of the heaven and the earth, all right? <laughs> Yahweh, okay? But it says, this in scarce com commodities go goes up due to fierce competition for these dwindling resources this in like it this increased level of poverty eventually causes depopulation by decreasing birth rates as time goes on and asset prices keep increasing social unrest occurs which ultimately causes a major war revolution or famine social to collapse is an extreme but possible outcome for this process such a catastrophe inevitably has the effect of forcing the population to be correct. See what I'm saying? This is pride. That's pride. It says back to a lower, more easily sustainable level quite rapidly due to the potential severity and unpredictable results of mitigating factors involved as compared to the relative, relatively slow time scales and well-understood process governing unchecked growth or growth. See, talking about unchecked growth. All right, as if, as if he's the most high. He's look, he, but this is this is this is the pride of the so-called white. This is the pride of our oppressors, you know. But he will be taken out of power, okay? Our oppressor will be taken out of power according to the Lord's will. Thus saith the Lord. It says Malthusianism is, has been linked to a variety of political and social to, and social movements, but all but almost always refers to advocates of population control. So it boil, it all boils down to population control, as if as if they're the most high. All right, trying to genetically modify the damn population and always take take part or remember or consider the Georgia Guidestones. All right, with their goal, their population control goal to to bring the uh, world's population down to five hundred million. That's a big. That's a huge difference from the amount of pe for the amount of uh of people or the population on the earth today of eight billion. So you're trying you your goal. You know your undermining goal. Okay. 
you know, your alternative will be to bring the 8 billion world's population to 500 million for a more sustainable uh, living. All right. That's that's their that's that's how eat. But that's that's just them. OK, this is that's just them, man. This is Psalms. Yeah, let me get Psalms. Uh, Psalms chapter 36, verse four. He devises devises mischief upon his bed and mischief goes to wickedness. All right. Trouble. All right. Looking to cause problems with these these such theories. Population control. All right. And they and they and they, and they look to they they take act they 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 act upon these theories, man. They don't just speak the so called white man are oppressed, they they do what they say they want to do. They do it. They be they're they're being they be they they be that demon, they be that devil. Okay? He divides mischief upon his bed, he set of himself in a way that is not good. He abhor he abhor of not evil. Okay? Yeah, he 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 abhor of got the basically uh righteousness, okay? But this is just to bring out that, hey, we are not ignorant. Just to warn our people that you have an enemy. You have real evil plots against you. All right? It's just not this 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 world, what it portrays of a happy-go-lucky, the white picket fence, the two couple kids and dolls running around. Man, you have a real enemy. All right? Right in front of your face proclaiming these such things. All right? But we're just, hey, men of the Lord just bringing it out, of course, with, with, with reasoning and understanding. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is one of them, all right? Like I like I mentioned, I just learned this This is new, all right? I'm like, hey, not surprised. Not surprised, man. But once again, population controls, and this aligns with the Georgia Godstones, you know, of, of looking to bring that population of 8 billion people in the world, of the you know, within the world, down to 500 million, okay? So that, that Malthusian... Theory from from Thomas Robert Mathis, all right, so shows you that hey, man, Satan, he's gonna he's gonna be the devil, all right. But the Lord, <laughs> the Lord got us, man. We in, those that believe upon Yahweh by Shemiah all right, hey, those are the ones to be protected. The Lord deals with those that are faithful towards Him, okay. So this is Psalms chapter ninety one verse one, and it reads, "He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." All right, and that shadow is going into protection of the Lord. All right, we're looking to be protected in these evil in such theories like this and the evil times that we're in. We look to be protected by the Lord. We know this thing is not of us. All right, whether we're whether we're put to death or whether we or whether we survive, it's up to the Lord. Okay, verse two, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Yeah, that trust goes into faith. It goes into confidence. The word batak. Okay, verse three, surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And from the noisome pestilence. All right, let's get this in another. Let me get this in another translation. See what it says. All right, but basically from the trap, delivering us from the traps, and that one and one of those traps being this Malthusianism theory. Okay, from from Robert, your boy Robert, right here, man. <laughs> All right, it says. Let me get. Let me get the New Living Translation. I always go to the New Living Translation. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So Psalms ninety, chapter ninety one, verse three. For he will rescue you from every trap. So we're we, as men of the Lord, we're warning our people of these such traps. We're warning our people of these things. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. And the, and the so-called white man genetically modifies that as well. All right. <laughs> Think upon that uh that that C that C that C one nine. All right, that C one nine recently, man. Just just pushing things out there. All right. We we not knowing what the hell going on, but of course we we understand that the Lord controls the left side as well. The Lord controls these the the minds of these kings and rulers are of our oppressors as well. Okay, so they they're in the trick bag in theirself. But it says, "For He will rescue you from every trap." So the Lord is in full control, and that gives us the confidence and the comfort of us knowing these things, or of this of us knowing and understanding these scriptures. Okay, to be protected in these last days that we're living in, and these traps are going to get more and more deadly and more and more intense as well. OK, for he will rescue you from the every trap and protect you from 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 deadly disease. OK, because a pestilence is a, a deadly disease. All right. And the Lord will protect us just from that. Verse four, he shall cover thee from with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right. Yeah, and the Lord has granted us with the Holy Spirit to understand understand the truth and be aware of our enemy be aware of all these things that are around us okay and to let our people know of these things as well okay so verse four one more time he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust 
His truth shall be be thy shield and buckler. All right. So yeah, the Holy Spirit, truly that were Kakwadash, all right, is ultimately going to be our saving grace. Okay, because as long, long as we stay within that, within those lines and stand out the line of fire of Yahweh Bashem Shai and look to be protected, and the Lord's not going to, uh, He's not going to, uh, you know, for, forget us. All right, He's not going to, you know, do away with us. All right, <clears throat> He's going to remember our our works along with our faith. Okay, so just wanted to bring out this Malthusianism uh, theory of this population growth, this population control. And, you know, they, they look, they really look to do these things, man. We, this is, this is Satan being Satan. This is the devil being the devil. All right. We don't just, this, this is, you know, this is just our enemy being the enemy. All right. There's, there's more proof behind it. Okay. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying straight to the point and also still encouraging. All right. I went out by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith, Shalom.